Rita is a passionate activist. And I've known her since we were, what, 28? When I was like 44? Long time. Long time. <laughs> I, know, I know we're like, we're the same age. But in, in, if there's anybody that you want to facilitate and you know, protect the environment or educate and write about it and talk about it and promote it, then it's Rita you want. You want her by your side. So, so I'm very glad she's doing a um, special guest. Do, do you need one more question? <laughs> yeah, I just feel like Pauline's spirit and the spirits of many people uh, are with us tonight. I'm gonna just read you a very short poem. It was written for Idle No More. And it just felt like, uh, this was written on uh, January, for January 28th, there was an action day. Um, and about activism, I don't think, I don't think we should make um, heroes out of activists. I think we all need to be activists, yeah. right? Your own heroes. Exactly. Last year, I never imagined we would be round dancing in Glenmore Landing, round dancing in Chinook Center, Round dancing in Olympic Plaza. Round dancing in Metro Town. Round dancing in West Edmonton Mall. Round dancing outside the Cayuga Courthouse. Round dancing on Aquasasne. Round dancing on Strombo. Hoichka. Masi Cho. Bulalin. Drumming at Waterfront Station. Drumming at the United Nations. Drumming at Columbia University. Drumming at Granville in Georgia. Drumming at Dalhousie University. Drumming at the Peace Arch. Drumming on Wellington Street. Drumming on Lubicon Lands. Drumming in Owen Sound. Drumming in Thunder Bay. Drumming in Samba Cay. Drumming in Chicago. Drumming in Chilliwack. Drumming in Kinemat. Taking a much needed pause for thought on Tarzan's Highway 63. On the 401. On CN rail tracks with Amjanon Courage. A human river on Ambassador Bridge. Time to stop and respect. Remember, we are all treaty people, unless we live on unceded lands, where rude guests can learn to be better ones by repealing C45, for starters. We have to stand together in many places, all at once. J11, J16, J28, Indigenous Spring, Eighth Fire Summer, Autumn Wisdom, Winter Sleep, to renew Indigenous Spring, again and again. It is Gandhi we need to align ourselves with. Gandhi and Gaia and Bandana and Maud and marbled muralettes and mycorrhizal mats. And Nona and Ward and Jaggi and Arundhati and phytoplankton and peregrine falcons. Naomi and Oren and Gesty and Jeanette and Lee and bitter melon and bees. Percy and Sheev and Jack and Elizabeth and chrysanthemum greens and canola, now radiated. Yoko and Yes Men and Christos and Dion and dolphins and prairie dogs. Teresa and Melina and Pamela and Rosa and Salmon and Cedar. Wab and Harsha and Clayton and Ariel and Eider Ducks and Water Bears. Takaya and Roxana and Glenn and David and Wolves and Whales. There's a time for pies, and there is a time for rocks, and beavers and snowy plovers. There's a time for poems, and a time for rifles, and coral reefs and caribou. There's also a time for the Haudenosaunee wampum belt, two rivers running side by side, as long as one party doesn't try to dam and mine and kill the other's river. And a time for spinning wheels, and a super barrio who stopped 10,000 evictions in Mexico, who I look to. It is the Zapatistas, the Mohawks, the K.I., the Lalindlian, the Mother Earth water walkers, the 20-year-olds suddenly in Parliament, the grannies and the grandkids. It is the children I will never see, but who I hope will live and drink clean, wild water. that this poem is dedicated to uh, Chief Teresa Spence, whose life I celebrate and honor. Thank you.